competition has been fierce, given the surprising number of candidates, but as we bring this battle royale to a close, let's give our presidential hopefuls a final word. All right, which of these people will you choose to serve as Attack Junior High Student Council President? First up to make her last speech is candidate Rico Brzezinska. And if I'm elected, not only will this school be so spotless you can eat your lunch off the floor, every student will be conscripted into doing their part to keep it that way. Yes, that includes working on the weekends, but the extra effort will be... Yeah. Oh, but I... Well, she gets my vote. This is democracy! Next up to the podium is Rhino Brown! Comrades, this is why you want me! If elected, fitness will be my number one priority. Attendance at school swim meets will be mandatory to increase chances for physical contact! You pig. Ah! Candidate Brown is withdrawing from shock, apparently. Our next speaker will be Ottawa Bozad. Give him your attention, please. <laughs> Mr. Aaron Yeager will take the microphone next. Look, just... Promise not to say anything weird. Meh, relax. My reason for wanting to be your elected leader is simple. One president, huh? every last titan attack junior high, now the world will be destroyed! Nice. The idiot just dug his own grave. Aaron, what? What did I even say? I need to say something. Wait, what are you doing? I haven't had a chance to collect my thoughts yet, but I can do this. I'll just have to think as I talk. Listen, Aaron's not the moron he sounds like. If we take his conviction and combine it with our superior intellect and manpower, I believe we can reclaim this campus for humanity. Does this mean we won't have to give the Titans our lunches anymore? Because I'm all for that. He doesn't know what he's talking about. With our very survival in mind, mm -hmm. and what time I have left before they kick me off stage, I will advocate Aaron Yeager as president! This is nuts! The crowd loves him now? I should probably keep my mouth shut, but I wasn't finished with my speech! You, you're cowards! You're all cowards! Just shut up and put your faith in me! Hey, what you call me? That's how you figure on getting yourself elected. Uh, all right. Next up is our last speaker, you'll be glad to know. Candidate Jean Kirstein, yay. They've listened to one stupid speech after another. Expectations are at an all-time low. This is my chance to bring it home! Fellow students, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I want to be popular with the girls. Uh, uh, what? What'd I say? <laughs> Why did we do this? If we'd have known what we were getting into, we would have never run. We've been put through the ringer, and all we have to show for it is regret. Don't get mad at what I'm about to say. <laughs> Jean's not what you'd call a stand-up guy, but doesn't that kind of make him more relatable? I mean, he's like most of the folks in this room, unless I'm wrong. He's one of us. He gets our point of view. That's right. Jean Kirstein is a realist. Personally, he's where my recommendation goes. This man's name is Marco Bot, and he happens to be exactly what I'd call a stand-up guy. There was nothing in this for him. He was just speaking out for a friend. Look at the facts. Think! Who better to serve as our president? I tell you this, I can't recommend Mr. Bot highly enough! Be this 